Today we're looking at the Sears Orion 360. Sears simply had them put it out under their label. It's really an Orion, but Sears marketed these at one time. I've got the beds pulled as far apart as they'll go almost. And here are the carriages upside down. The reason for today's filming is hearing from a friend who's found one of these but she's got some concerns about it. This is the bottom of the carriage and it rides in this track. I could swear the track is aluminum. I think the rod that is the slider is steel. The top lip is probably also steel and it rides in this track. So it is a metal to metal connection. That was one of the things that my friend is not sure about and if you get a new old Orion you may not be sure about it either. Back carriage and front carriage are set up just about the same. There's a little bit more going on underneath the front carriage but the rails are not different. Jack looked at this with me to try to help because our friend feels like she's getting metal filings. These rails were either painted or treated in some way that you can see mine are somewhat scuffed and worn smooth in areas with wear. We think possibly what looks like metal filings could be that dark coating coming off. Now because this is a metal to metal connection, it can ride really smoothly or really roughly depending on the condition of the metal and the degree of lubrication. In a more modern machine there tend to be nylon parts. I haven't used mine in about a year and that was put away pretty clean. I can feel as I run my thumb along it some unevenness. This needs to be wiped down. I need to get old oil off of it and fresh lubrication into it. I also would like to go through here running a cleaning tip of some sort. Nothing abrasive but to make sure there's no lint caught in there as well as in there. You can't really get a fingertip in there to feel so you have to use something metallic where you'll find rough spots if they exist and clean them out if they need cleaning or just lubricate if that's all that is needed. Actually the metal to metal connection can run very nicely but it does take maintenance. That metal has to stay smooth and perfectly lubricated and you may need to use a little bit more oil than you would use on a modern machine. Here's a closer look at the carriages riding in their position on the bed. Here's the rear carriage and of course if the beds were aligned for knitting these two things would connect. <laughs> 